Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to be making some envelopes. We're going to be using those clusters we made last time. But first, let's have our shout out to Annette, Tracker 584, Revel in Romance, Hilda, Judy, Joyce, Connie, Julie, Alice, Renee, and Roxana. I appreciate each and every one of you. I've got some coffee dyed paper here. I thought this one would be the best to be able to see. I have some others that I'm going to bring in and we're going to decorate these envelopes that we're going to make without using a machine or a little template. I'm going to show you how to do it without using that. And um, it, you will love these. I'm telling you, these are something special. You need a piece of paper that is a square. Same size this way, same size this way. Mine happens to be eight and a half this way and eight and a half this way. My doggy's dreaming and he's... <laughs> Did you hear him? He's dreaming. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so what you want to do is I'm taking my point, the point of my paper, and I'm lining it up on one of these darker lines on my glass mat. So I'm lining that up and I'm lining the bottom up. So it's going to be square. That's what we want. We don't want it not to be square. If it's not square, then it's going to be wonky. Okay, I don't want a wonky envelope. I want it to be square. So I'm just taking my ruler and I am lining my ruler up as well with that same line. So the points are lined up with the line and my ruler is lined up with that line. And I'm then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to make a very light mark right in the middle. There we go. There's my mark in the middle. Can you see it? It's right there. Okay. I'm going to turn it the other way and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm putting my points on the line. I'm putting my ruler on the line. And so everything is going to be lined up. And let's just, just making sure that it's lined exactly the way I want it. And it is, and I'm going to do another light line right there. So I have two lines right here, and right there is where they intersect. They touch, the lines come together. All right, so if you have um, a printed type of paper, like maybe you're using music paper or some kind of print, if you have, a part of that that you want to be the envelope flap. That's what you need to pay attention to. I think I want this to be my envelope flap, okay? So with that said, I'm turning it back over. This is where, this this is the point where I, I like that little mark. So I'm gonna keep that at the top. I'm gonna bring in my eraser and I'm erasing my lines. Whoops, I did that a little too soon. Whoops, that was right here. Okay, don't erase your lines yet. <laughs> Got a little ahead of myself. All right, so this is your flap. I'm going to turn it to the side, and you're going to take this point and go in where that the points matched, and you're going to crease. Turn it, and you're going to go to that point where they all intersected, and you're going to crease it. So now we look like this. Now is when we need to erase this. <laughs> All right, we got that erased. Now we're going to be pulling this base up. Now, once again, I'm going to use the lines in my grid. I'm going to be doing a half an inch right here. So I'm going to line my quarter up here with, and my corner here on this heavy line. So we're square. And then I'm going to fold this up. And using my grid on my mat, I'm taking this point right here and I'm lining it up half away. So it happens to be this darker line. I'm going to line that point on that dark line and this one on the dark line. They both need to be lined up on the dark line so that it's square. And then crease it. All right. Now I'm going to turn it one more time. I'm going to lay the bottom one on a grid line right here I'm using the darker one 
I'm making sure this is correct here, that this point is correct with this point. And then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to crease it one more time. Oh, it's about a half an inch. And I'm just making sure that my point is on this line and the point is on the same line. And then I'm going to crease it. So there is our envelope. Now I like to turn this down. So I turn it this way first and I just see where it just kind of there's our point. We're going to bring it up about, I don't know, maybe a fourth of an inch from where they meet and crease it. And then I just turn it back on itself like that. Okay. And then that finishes that off. Now we're going to need to open this up and we need to cut out these pieces right here. Now I have already inked up this one and I inked it up in a way in which you're going to be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Do you see this little pie shape right here? Right here and here and here and here. We're cutting them out. Okay, so we folded it like this. I inked around. That's all I did different is I inked it. I inked the inside fold where this was my flap. And that's going to be my inside fold. And then I inked everything else on the outside. Okay, so you're, we're just jumping from this over to here. Right here and right here, right here and right here is the same on this one. I just inked it up. Now we're going to take our scissors and I like to cut it a little bit more at an angle than it is here. So I'm going to cut out the inked portion. So I'm just cutting it to the point of the envelope, the base of the envelope, and I'm going to do the other one as well. There, I've cut out all the inked portion of it. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on all the other sides. Just like that. I'm going to do this one. Let's get this cut a little better. There we are. There we go. I left a little. There, that's better. One more. Last one. There we are. All right. So the next thing I want to do, I've already glued this down. Yeah, you're going to glue that little flap that we have here, this flap. You're going to glue that flap down. I've already glued the flap down here. So what you want to do is that's the, put that towards you. That's the base. We're going to fold the sides in. Of course, you've already inked it. And I noticed here that I need to go ahead and ink because we've cut out that ink spot right there. I'm just going to go ahead and now you don't need to do the bottom because it's not going to be seen. It is on this side though. It's going to be seen on the outside. Those still look good. All right. So now we're going to take our glue. Mine happens to be Tombow glue. I am not gluing where the flap is. I'm going to glue from here to here, right over that little straight part there and then the, the angle part here. So I'm just putting just a little bit of glue right here. Remembering not to put any on this flap that we have glued down. And then do the exact same thing to this side. Put a little glue here and some glue right along the edge. Okay, now we're going to fold it up. <laughs> We're going to fold it up. And we have got ourselves an envelope. Just like that. Super cool, right? Oh, I love it. Let's go ahead and let's fix our other ones because we're going to make a few of these. There's one. Now remember that paper 
that we took our tissue paper and we put it on top of different types of pages and we did one with the music. Well, that's what this paper is right here. And it's got some paint uh, splotches on it. Now, I decided I wanted this to be my flap. So I have not yet folded this one down. So let's go ahead and do this. Fold it down like this. So then I'm going to open it back up. I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to glue. I'm going to turn my glue back upside down. I'm going to glue my flap down right here. Oh, sure we are. This one has been sitting up upside down. Here we go. Glue it right there. And fold it back the other way. Okay. And then I'm just going to need to ink it right there. And now we're going to take our glue and we're going to just put it on the outer edges right here. And then on the outer edges right here. And then we're going to, need to get this back in there. Okay, we're going to fold it up just like this. And we've got ourselves a super cool envelope made out of music paper. <laughs> super cool, right? Super cool. Now I've got a beautiful blue one because you know those clusters, they were they were kind of in different colors, weren't they? They were um, some pinks and some blues and there was a black one. They were all a little different but yet the same. <laughs> so I have got different colors of base envelopes so that we can make our make our beautiful envelopes using our clusters. Okay, got that glued down. And we just fold it up just like that. Super duper easy. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. I love, love, love them. Let's go ahead and let's do this one right here. And, or shall we do this one? I don't know, there's something about this one. I want to do this one first. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to open it up like this. And I want to bring in my word stamp, I should say. And I'm going to get my stays on black. Open it up. And we're going to load up our stamp with some of this, but I'm doing it here and there. I'm not, some I'm pressing down hard, some I'm not. So the ink is like, it's not going to be a perfect image and I don't really want it to be. And I'm just, didn't reload it or anything. I just stamped along just like that. So it's very faint. You see that? Very faint. Now, I need to wipe this out very quickly here. Okay, let's proceed onto the front. I really want to do the exact same thing onto the front. Now, this is the flap. So I want the flaps, even though you can't read this, I want it to be right side so that when you put it this way, it's going to be right side up. Okay, and then I'm doing the same thing. I'm just getting a little bit of ink on here and I'm going to do the exact same thing just like that super cool right super cool okay we're going to wipe this up right here all right now what I want to do I'm going to move this out of the way bring this back in and I'm going to get some of my stamps here. So I have a very pretty little butterfly stamp and I'm going to put some stays on ink on it. That's quite a bit of ink. That's okay. I'm going to put it at an angle like it's flying off of the page just like that. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? I'm going to take this off, set it right there. I'm going to bring in my postage mark and I'm going to need to put a little bit of moisture onto my thing so it will stick a little better. Okay. And I'll put a little ink on there. 
and stamp it because that little butterfly is acting like my stamp without really having a stamp and a couple of those. So now we look like that. Oh, that's pretty, right? I have a stamp here that is swirly whirly. It's all, you can see it there better. And I thought that that went very nicely with the swirls around our cameos that we made our clusters from. So the clusters, you know, you can use on your paper. You could use it on a tag. But I thought, oh, wouldn't it be pretty to use on an envelope? So I'm just going to do just a little bit on the edge. Not a lot, just a little. Just like that. Just a little on the edge. Oh, I think that's pretty. Now, I like to do a little bit on the tip of my flap as well. So let's see where I want to do that. Maybe, maybe right here. So let's do a little bit here. And then let's do a little bit over here. Like that. Okay, that's pretty too, right? So to finish this flap off, I'm going to go back to my butterfly and I'm going to get it back onto my plexiglass and I'm going to just put it right in the middle here, kind of flying. There we go. So that's going to be the flap. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. I actually think I want this to go up the side just a little bit more. Yeah, needed to go up the side just a tiny bit more. There we go. I like that just a little better. All right. So now we look like that. Oh my goodness, I think that's so pretty. Let's go back to the front and let's select one of the clusters. Oh, that one looks really pretty. This pink with the blue, but I really thought that would be good on the music page. We've got this one. That one's pretty too. And we've got the Eiffel Tower. This is Big Ben. This is the Eiffel Tower. So, oh, I like this one. There's something about this one, the way it sits, the way the papers are. This one looks awesome. Now, all you have to do is get your glue, and we're just going to put some glue on. I'm going to put it on my doily. I'm going to put it on my tracing paper. Put it back over here on my doily. I'm just really going to lay as much glue on here as I think I need to really stick it well onto my envelope because I don't want it coming off. So that's quite a bit of glue on there. I think that will do nicely. I'm going to do a little underneath so it really grabs a hold. Okay, now let's turn it over and put it where we want it to go. I think we want it to go right here. Now I've got a number on there and I want that number to be straight so I'm kind of lining my envelope up looking at my grid the best I can here seeing if I can get my Eiffel Tower lined up fairly straight okay that's not bad just place it down on there oh my goodness you guys isn't that pretty that is so pretty. And then on this side, we have our theme carried out. I love it. Now, on this music paper, putting the words on top, I'm not real sure about that. Uh, I think it might be a little busy, but uh, let's try it inside the envelope or maybe on a flap or something where we don't really see it. We're not going to see it down here. How does this look with all that busyness going on? Too busy? Well, not really. Okay, let's give it a go, huh? Let's just go ahead and, and do this. I'm going to set this upside down again, or I'm going to have trouble with the glue coming out. 
So I'm going to load this up again. This is something new for me. We're like layering. We're putting words on top of music paper. I'm going to do right here. I'm going to do the flap. Okay. Now because I'm going to load it up again because we are going over music paper. And I'm going to do the inside. Okay. So we look like this. It's different. <laughs> okay. So the flap is here. So I'm going to turn it around. And let's do the flap. Okay. And then turn it back and do the front. Okay. This is... I like it. I do like it. It's different, but I like it. Okay. All right. So move this out of the way. I'm going to pick this up for y'all to see this. And I'm going to clean up the base as I pick this up for y'all to look. Okay, well, pretty clean now. Not bad. Let's put this back down. Now we want to, now we didn't, we did this one open. We didn't do it shut. We shut the other one. So let's go ahead and let's put our fancy on here. I'm going to shut this up. I think it needs to be shut. So we're going to add our glue onto here, right here, and we're going to glue it down, making our envelope. Okay, now we're going to turn it, so we're going to make our decoration on our flap now. We're going to bring in our swirly whirly stamp, and let's go ahead and do some swirly whirlies. Woo! And let's do some more. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. Don't you think that's pretty? I do. I need to wipe this up because it's really wet. Okay, and let's bring this down. I think I want a little something right there. I can do it. I'm not sure. We'll see. And let's stamp it right there. Yeah, that's just what I wanted. I wanted to fill in that little spot. Okay, beautiful. We've already got our stamp, our butterfly on our little plexiglass. We're going to go ahead and, yeah, it's all inked up, all of it's inked. I'm going to put my butterfly flying off. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? I love it. It's pretty wet, so I'm going to turn it over like this. Let's go ahead and put our stamp on our butterfly stamp that's going to represent our stamp. I'm going to take this off. We're going to put our postage stamp on here. We're going to postage stamp it. We're going to get our line marking that it ran through the post office and it's being delivered. There we go. And then we need to put our swirly whirly down the side. So let's go down the side here with our swirly whirly. Okay, that's really nice. I like that. Try not to get my, I don't want to get this. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Now I really want to catch that edge just a little bit more right here, right here, this edge right there. I really want it to show up just a little bit more with the stamp. Yes, that's that's the ticket. Oh my goodness, I think that's so pretty. Now, let's select which of the clusters we're going to put onto here. I'm going to close out this. Which cluster do we want to go on here? Okay, we've got the blue. I don't think we really want the blue. I think we want the pink. This one's going to be a little more over to the side because of our stamp situation. But I think that's still pretty. Now we could actually do a little bit more. There's the blue one. I'm going to show you all of them. There's the blue one. And then here's that tan colored one. All right. I like this one on here, but you know what I want? If I'm going to use this one, it's kind of lacking a little something here. I'm going to go back to our stamp. And I am going to stamp 
a little bit more right here. And I'm not going to glue this down yet. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. What do I want exactly here? I think I'm going to need to go this way with the stamp. Now I can move it off, and I'm going to just stamp it just like that. Oh my goodness. And I think I want just a tiny little bit right here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. So let's glue our cluster right on to our envelope. I'm just going to put my glue on here everywhere. If my pieces aren't totally glued down, I'm going to go ahead and add some more glue to this. Just really heavily get my glue on here. I want it to really, really stick. Okay. Got a lot of glue on there now. Where exactly do I want it? I want it right there. Don't wanna, my glue is, I mean, my ink is still a little wet because that was, that's a very juicy, juicy stamp. It's brand new and it's very juicy. And there we have our pink one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And there's the back. I think that's beautiful. And here's the blue one that we made. And here's this. And then here is a brown one that I made with the Leaning Tower of Pisa is what's inside of there. That one's beautiful as well. You guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.